Welcome to the video, my friends. Today, we are going to check out Blood West. Full disclosure, as always, I was sent a key by the developers, Hyper Strange, to check out Blood West, which is a Wild West stealth FPS horror game, which I will quote the Steam page for. Blood West is an immersive stealth FPS horror set in a wicked Wild West, brought back to life by strange native spirits. You will explore and scavenge, build up your arsenal, and gain powerful perks. Hunt your enemies quietly or meet them guns blazing. Take back the frontier, gunslinger. Uh, very positive reviews. It is in early access, indie. Without further ado, let's jump into the game. So we can see the low res, low poly aesthetic, which we've seen quite a few times. Reminds me of the look of Valheim. Probably very similarly made. Oh, it worked. It worked, and he is even in one piece. The game's not a bad price either. I think it's about £10, something like that. £10, £11. Pounds. So it's, it's not a super expensive game or anything like that. Oh, me? You mean us? Nothing but an amalgamation of souls. More important question is, who are you? Up, oh, cheers, um, head on a stick. Guess we go this way. Left control, uh, C to toggle. Uh, you don't have a weapon, get past the enemy. So we can toggle or control. Oh. He is going around that way. Oh, there's a health potion or something over there. You are being chased. Run to the tunnel and hide. Lose your opponent. Woo! Let's go and pick this up. That's a good job. He's slow. Okay. See ya. Hide and wait here till the enemy is bored and wait for you to come of waiting for you to come out. Okay, let's go this way. Yeah, I'm totally not gonna poo my pants. Some gold. So looking at the actual options menu here just quickly while we're waiting in this cave, there is very minimal settings. We have no field of view slider, we have sensitivity, resolution, display, board list, full screen, etc., and sound. Uh an invert look, and that's that is it. That is literally it. Key, keybinds and language. Um, but yeah, very minimal on the settings. Would like to see some field of view. Things like that. I'm not sure what field of view we're playing at, but we'll find out once we start getting weapons in our hands, I guess, and see how narrow... It doesn't look too bad at the moment. It's not really made me feel... What the hell is this field of view just yet? But we'll we'll see. I'd I, I hope that it's quite a high field of view. Okay, I'm going to go this way. So the ear appears and the bar goes up if we're moving. Okay. There is a weapon laying down there. Useful indeed. Oh, good. That voice sounds familiar. Is that the guy from Blood? Open your inventory. Equip the weapon primary slot. You can equip it two weapons. Uh, big weapons fit only into the primary slot, while small weapons were put into the any slot. Use numeric keys and a mouse scroll wheel to select. So let's put that axe there. Uh, we have a health potion as well and some gold nugget. We've got our mouse wheel health potion on three. Slots for equipment, tools, single use and artifacts can be equipped in special slots. I think that's what we just did. There's a bandage. Oh, good. Feather. Though, keeping in mind, this is early access, so they might add loads more settings later on down the line. Left mouse button to light attacks. Hold the right mouse button for heavy attacks. Attacks are surprise. Attacks from surprise deal much more damage, so stealthy attack. Splash. Um, has he got any loot? Just a coin, it looked like. Okay. Stealth attack this next one. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. <gasps> Headshot. Any loot? Nope, well, we don't want to drop down there. Let's go this way. But the field of view is not too bad. Oh. Oh, a pistol. 
A weapon firearms can be uh, can use different types of ammunition. Switch uh, ammo types by pressing E or R to reload. You can unstock a weapon in your inventory. So we got a pistol there. Nice revolver. Not that we'd probably want to use it. Okay, we've got two types of ammo. We're switching in the bottom right there. Oh, here's another head on a stick. You won't find any answers lingering here. Better move towards the dark places and glimmering gold. So you can go all guns blazing or stealth, as the Steam page suggested. Probably going to try and go stealth, though, as much as possible. Save me ammo for when I need to, because I don't imagine with an inventory system and an in inventory management, as it mentions, it's probably going to be limited on ammo, so you don't want to go guns blazing as much as a normal shooter, as stealth is a big part of this game, I believe. Let's get moving a bit quicker here. Okay. Oh, there's a dude. Here you can trade, for example, buying a map may improve, uh, prove useful. Some enemies may respawn upon your death or reset. Speak with the Shaman and Totem of Souls. So he has very expensive. Okay. Uh, we're not buying a bow then, but that looks like a nice bow. This spirit bow. A normal bow. We got a knife. A bone knife. Raven skull, some ammo. So we got 50 bucks. We could buy some more ammo, I guess. You know what? I might just get his ammo. Because you never know when we might need that. Follow the most strong scent of darkness around. Under the burned church. Within ruined city, you will find part of your answers. Anything else? Need to bring the cursed items to the Totem of Souls. Okay, those guys are going to help us out. Got to check this church underneath the church, I believe. Okay, we've got a couple of monsters here. Let's see if we can stealth these boys. Okay, I am in line of sight. He's going to turn around and look at me. He's going to look at me. He's going to look at me. Oh, got a tooth off that one. Is there a cave down there? He's like out of sight. <gasps> There's a miner. Oh my god. It might have low poly uh, uh, graphics, but that scared the crap out of me. Non linear, we can explore the map quite a lot. It looks like it branches off. It runs really well as well, which would be uh, expected with the uh, kind of old school aesthetic that it's rocking. Any special loot in here? Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going out of the mine, I think. I uh, just changed my mind. No reason, really. Have a look at this train. Oh, there is some loot in there, actually. You can never have too much of those. That sounds way too much like the guy from Blood. God, I love that game. I've, that's, that's so bad that I can't remember his name. Oh. We'll sneak around this way. Oh, God. I hope this... Oh, my God. Does this bush work? No! Oh, at least we can one-tap him with the right click. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hope those teeths are worth something that we're getting off these guys. Let's 
Remember, we've got a pistol for an emergency. It looks like we've got a town over it. Oh, does that look like a church tower over there? It looks like we're heading the right way. Kind of branches off around there to the left. We've got that mine down there. That I will go back to when nobody's watching, honestly. It's, uh... Scum of the yard. Oh my god. They... Yeah, 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 yeah. They don't mess about. Ooh, they don't mess about. I was only a couple of hits and he nearly killed me. Okay, not sure about the pistol. I'm not, I'm not even sure I hit him with those two shots. Some more law papers. Uh, oh, we got to cross that bridge, okay. Just wanted to try the revolver out and I totally missed. Can't believe that. Oh my god, this map's huge. What have we got here? Fort Mines Town. We need to go to the town to the church. At least there's signposts. Ooh. What's this? Oh, oh it's the uh, trader dude. Okay. Cool. What do you got? Oh, I've only got 24 bucks still. He's got a... Ooh, a really nice revolver there. What? Okay, we'll be buying that then. 12.50. Oh, we got some people up on high there on that wall. Go to this old church, though. I'm pretty sure this is where we got to go. Tumbleweed. <laughs> got him. got to be something here right protecting this church oh, i heard something okay how do we do this then there's a floating head in there and two monster oh there's a monster out here as well a couple of floating heads actually in there That is not a good sound. I laid thee to rest. Better stay dead, pal. Oh! Ghost heads. Couple of pistols. What do we what do we do? Dodge. Look a red flashing skull at the bottom of my screen. Okay, we're under the church. Rid this land of you. More bandages. Okay, let's get our bandages in in our uh, quick slot. Got two bandages. Okay. <gasps> Righteous death. Easy, easy. We ain't got nothing to worry about. Okay, maybe we have. I sp oh, God, I spoke too soon. Can we go back this way? Creep around. I'm not sure if I want to go through that gap. See if we can get behind them. 
a bit better. Okay, we can drop down that tunnel there, down further into the uh, into the mines or whatever this is, which probably joins up to those mines actually. Now we mentioned it, but I want to take out these two guys up here. Okay, one of them's walked off down that tunnel. Stay dead. Though I'm pretty sure that wasn't the guys I saw. Pretty sure it was one of those yep, one of those squealy boys. With a gun. Get back to hell. So we've got a couple of revolvers and a buttload of ammo here. I guess we could sell these at the store. They've all got ammo in them. Can I right-click and unload ammo? Oh, yep. Unstock. 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 And we have a buttload of ammo then. Okay, that's the feather is a usable. Okay, that's pretty cool. And we can put that in there. But it does have a negative. Okay, that's interesting. We've got a couple of those. So we could stack up the artifacts. Uh, trader will pay for this item. Okay, the teeth we can sell. Stacks up to five, it looks like. Uh, shiny coin... Is an artifact as well. What does that do? Uh, once used, it will break. While equipped, it will protect you from obtained new soul floor upon death. Okay. It's a one-time use, though. Pretty cool, though. Get these uh, little uh, artifacts to buff us and give a little negative as well. And the enemies hit pretty hard, so I could see this game actually doing pretty well. If I'm honest, it's got a good difficulty factor to it. Oh, good ammo. I don't know if that's water down there, I don't want to drop down there. I might go back to that other place where we can drop. Oh, yeah, this is a place. I will believe the freak. This is another place. I'm not sure if I want to do this. I am really not sure. What's the little we got down there? We got what the heck is that? A new creature? Some kind of centipede man? And three ghouls. Um Do I wanna risk that? See if I can take these out. Okay, turns out. I just missed those shots. Oh, God. No. Oh, I lost that loot. Okay. Oh, let's get a bandage on me, then. Ooh. Increases resistance to acid, but reduces... Okay, we'll take that, and we will put that on, because they spit acid at you. More teeth to sell. Let's reload our revolver. Whatever gets the jobs done. And we got something else over here. Some kind of heart. Uh, Wendigo heart. Twigs of small branches are growing out of its heart. Its similarity to a human heart is uncanny. When you hold it in your hand, the branches seem to slowly move towards your skin. Oh. Uh, regens 1 HP per second. But what's the negative? Lowers max HP by 10. And we got a good bit of HP. I do need to use another bandage, though, uh, which I've only got one of. Ah, uh, great. Let's unload that. I just need to remember, I have not got any more healing items, so I really need to find some. Or buy some, I guess. Go back to the shop, sell some of this crap. See how much those teeth fetch us. Right, where was that other area? Because we've still not found what we actually came here for. Which, if I check our journal, uh, so search a ruined church in town and find the evil within. Uh, filled with curse power and deliver it to the totems. Uh, okay, yeah, we've got to find. I think it said under the church. So, I mean, that's kind of where we are going. Uh, 
Uh, okay, we got. Oh God! Yeah, okay, I died. Soul floor. You have received one with every death. Three of them will turn you into a horrible curse. You can resist the effects of soul floor using potions and artifacts. Oh my word. So there is uh, negatives to dying big time. Do I keep my loot? I did keep my loot. I could probably sell some stuff to this guy now. How do we sell we drag them into him to sell we got 48 dollars okay uh so i've not quite got enough dollarinos for anything else decent i could get the knife maybe but the axe is probably as better than anything really uh we've got a map of the canyons we could buy very useful item to have when venturing from place to place i might get that map I'm going to save my money for now if i have to i will buy more i've just sold all those pistols i had emptied the ammo out and just got the one pistol, which uh, doesn't seem to have durability, so. Though it does need reloading after I just died a horrible, painful death. But that is all I will check out for today on Blood West. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts. I will leave links in the description to the Steam page for you guys if you want to check it out. And I'll probably link it in the comment section as well. Don't forget to hit the like button on the video as it really helps the channel out a lot. Gets the video out there, gets more eyes on it. Subscribe if you want to see more videos and more first looks and impressions on games. I really like this. A uh, bit scary. I might play it on stream so I've got company. So I'm not on my own so much. A little bit freaky and I imagine there's some stuff that's going to poo me up uh, further into the game. But full disclosure, I was provided a key as always. So you guys know. I hope you enjoyed. I love you all. And I'll see you peeps next time. Oh, there's some uh, That'll come in handy. more lore there.